What's going on, guys? Dr. Andrew Fix back here for another episode on the code. Thank you so much for joining me. I know I tell you guys this every time, but uh, really, really appreciate your time, however you're tuning in to listen to this. And um, this is going to be fun. It's been a little bit of time. It's been a little while since uh, I did one of these solo episode recordings. And we're going to keep this one pretty short and sweet for you guys today. Hopefully, I don't go off on too, you know, too big of a tangent or get up on a soapbox too much. But what we're going to talk about today is how there is no such thing as the perfect time and why you should stop waiting for the perfect time because there isn't one. Right. And I'm curious what came to your head right now. But, you know, how this idea or this topic came up was I'm sitting here in Littleton, Colorado, where my wife Erin and I live. And it's been an uncharacteristic, um, you know, last week or or honestly month at this point. There's been so much rain here in Colorado. And this week, this weekend coming up, um, so much rain. So I'm sitting here on a Sunday morning. What I really want to do is go for a bike ride. And I'm looking at my phone, looking at the weather. And all I see is just this chance of rain all day. 30%, 40%. 20, 80, you name it, right? There's just a chance of rain all day. And this morning, that's exactly what was happening. It was raining. It was raining pretty good. It was it was coming down pretty good this morning. And there's puddles everywhere. And the ground is soaking wet. Probably not ideal outdoor cycling weather. I considered going to one of our clinics at Physio Room, going on the stationary bike inside, going to the rec center here. But for some reason, um, you know, I was just interested in and excited to go on a ride outside, right? I didn't really want to ride the stationary bike. So I had other stuff that I needed to get done. I started working on the computer, doing these other things and just trying to sort of, you know, wait, wait out the weather, right? Trying to find a time to go. So the rain eventually stops and it's about noon and I'm looking at things. I'm like, okay, well, the clouds still look like they're pretty gray up there. I don't know if I want to take the chance on uh, on this right now, I might get caught in the rain out on my bike ride. And I'm I'm sort of a fair, fair weathered cyclist. I don't prefer to ride when it's cold or ride when it's raining. Um, you know, I like to ride when, when the weather is not going to be too big of a factor, minus some sunshine. And um, so anyways, it gets to the point where I just need to decide, am I going to go or am I going to not go? Because the weather app's not changing. It just says there's still a chance of rain all day. So I decide to, you know, get my cycling gear on, make sure my tires are aired up, get my water bottles filled, and and I just go, right? Because I could sit here contemplating all day, when's the perfect time to go? Is it three o'clock? Is it four? Is it two? And I could just be waiting, 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 waiting. And the weather's not going to change, right? The weather's not going to wait for me. I just need to decide, am I going to go or am I not going to go? And I did. And, you know, at the end of the day, it ended up being an awesome ride. I rode for basically an hour. It was like 17 miles and um, just under an hour. And I only barely got caught in a little bit of a drizzle right at the very end as I was getting back to the neighborhood. And, you know, I was on this ride and it just got me thinking about doing this brief podcast episode because this is another one of those things. I and we at Physio Room were waiting And waiting for the perfect time to start this podcast. We were trying to get all the equipment and get the mic and get, you know, everything set up. And at the end of the day, in most things that you're going to do, whether, you know, whether it's in your personal life or whether it's in work life, some sort of a project or an activity that you need to do, the hardest point for basically all of us and the biggest obstacle that you need to hurdle is starting, right? It's taking the first step towards beginning whatever we're talking about whether whether it is you know going on a bike ride like I did or whether it's starting a project and what we all get trapped by I think in life is this thing called inaction and I've seen this quote online that inaction is the enemy of progress and it's true because you can't progress you can't go anywhere if you don't at least start in the first place I can't get any miles in on my bike if I don't put my gear on, put my shoes on and get out the garage and just start going, right? Unless I'm going to ride the stationary, which I didn't really want to do. 
And I think, you know, we spend so much time worrying about things, planning things, trying to make sure every little detail is perfect, considering all the things that might go wrong and trying to have a, an answer for that. And these things just keep us from even getting going in the first place. They keep us from even taking any action and starting. And all I want to leave you guys with on this episode, again, I appreciate your time hopping on here, is just what are you waiting for, right? Is there the perfect time that you're waiting for to do something, to take that trip that you always wanted to do, whether that's like local or international, wherever you want to go, try out that new restaurant that you've been waiting to do, waiting for the perfect time to have kids. I mean, there is no perfect time. I know people that are very young when they have kids. I know people that are much older when they have kids. And I know a lot of people in both of those scenarios that are phenomenal freaking parents, right? So it's not that one person's better or right than the other. They're, you know, it's two different ways to go about things and both are okay. There's no perfect time. And, you know, having kids is just a blessing in and of itself. So whether you're young or old when you have them, I mean, I think it's just a miracle that we do. So um, either one, I think is phenomenal. Are you waiting for the perfect time to apply for that new job and leave the one that you're unhappy at or leave the relationship that you're unhappy with just because you're afraid of what's next, right? Whatever it is that we're talking about, what is that perfect time that you're waiting for? Because if you really sit down and think about it, there might not be a perfect time, right? I think the best thing that you can do is just take that first small, and I'm going to emphasize small, first small step towards whatever it is that you're trying to get to. Because what you can always do is get started. And then if you find yourself just a little bit off track or off course, you can course correct and you can make a subtle little adjustment and you're still going to be at a much better off place or a much further along place then than you would have been at that point in time if you never even started yet and you still had to get the ball rolling. So whatever it is that you're hoping to do that you're waiting for the perfect time for, just get out there and start. If you have questions, if you need somebody to hold you accountable or you need a motivation buddy, you let us know here on the code. You send me an email. All the contact information is going to be there in the show notes and we'll be sure to... Uh, to help hold each other accountable towards these things that we're trying to work towards. Thank you so much for tuning in to listen to this. I hope this short and sweet episode left you with something that you're ready to go take action on. And as a reminder, we are trying to get this podcast, the code, a guide to health and human performance in front of more eyes and ears. If you haven't yet, please go leave a review. We're trying to get up to 200 five-star reviews on this podcast. Be sure to let us know something that you liked about it or a topic that you want to hear about. And we'll be sure to try and get an episode out on those things. Thank you guys so much. We'll catch you next time on another episode of The Code. Bye-bye.